Hey guys, this is going to be a video on a transmission fluid change for the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. I didn't find anything online regarding this at all. I found it very difficult to find any information at all about these newer models. So I thought I'd take the plunge and just sort it out myself. I did end up buying a Chilton DIY subscription just to double check, but it's proven to not be very useful at all. Uh, just very direct. Unplug drain plug. Uh, take off the freaking fill, fill bolt at the top with no directions at all. And that's how I ended up with this. In order to remove the fill, the fill, this fill, I don't want to call it a bolt because it's plastic, but it's a plastic bolt. The top part of the transmission is in the way, and I am not 100% sure what it does. I don't want to remove it uh, without knowing what it is and fuck up some more stuff. I had to use a drill and a file to take out a chunk, so to pull it right out. This is the first problem I've encountered so far. Also, to even get to this eyelet, you have to remove the airbox completely. Uh, I thought you could just remove the tube connecting the airbox to the intake, but you do have to remove the entire airbox. To give you an idea of what I was talking about, you can see This piece of the transmission, I'm not sure, this looks like to appear to be some selector it's in the way, so when you actually do take this off, it comes up, but you can't get it out. So if I could just line up the chunk I cut. goes up and out of the way just like that oh and a note for the air box it is just three 10 millimeter bolts there's one back here one that goes right here and the last one mounts up here in order to get to this one it's in the way with this but as long as you're on a warm day you can just pull this back a little bit and you'll be able to fit your socket down there with an extension now under the car, you gotta remove this plastic liner, which is through these pull tabs, which I will show you right now. Just a bit in between. Pretty sure I actually just broke that one. Yep. But they're supposed to pop out like this. And now they're disengaged. Hopefully I don't break more. Finished pulling them out. Luckily, uh, the first one was the only one I broke. Um, I didn't realize there are also 10 millimeter bolts holding it in. So, thankfully, Hyundai didn't just rely on push pins that break in the winter time. Um, so there's three of those 10 mils in the front. Uh, one, two, three, three in the back. All right, after you pry that shit off, uh, this is gonna be your drain bolt uh, socket that fits it. 24 mil. Uh, so, oh yeah. Correction for the plastic liner that sits up here. There's actually four 10 millimeter bolts, three in the back. I feel bad for anybody doing this on an older car. I mean, I guess once these cars age, my car is actually it's currently April 2019. I already have 35,000 miles on this. Um, I bet most of you guys are going to be doing this later down the road. I live in Jersey where they like to use salt in the roads, these 10 mils. They're gonna get nice and rusted. Get your drain pan ready. Get ready.
ready to crack her loose. Oh shoot, actually, let me double check that I actually removed the vent tube, or you know, the eyelet up top. Now I had left that in. Make sure this is removed to allow air to come in, allow for faster flow. on the end of the bolt um, that is all metallic particles I put a magnet at the end of the drain bolt to collect metallic particles that break down from the clutch packs here and if I can get a rag I'll wipe it off and show you that shit is thick dummy thick pick it up. See all those shards? That shit's floating around in transmission, fucking it up. Once the magnet's full, it can't catch much more. Oh my god. get that after shot look how look how much shit was on there and Hyundai says it's supposed to be lifetime fluid when the clutch packs shed that much metal oh yeah just a PSA you guys should probably put on gloves for this um, it'd be really easy after you wipe this off to go ahead and like if you're sweating wipe your eyes get some nice shards in your eyes go blind After you bust it out, let it drain for a bit. You're supposed to be doing this on level ground or on a lift. So I'm going to have to leave this pan here and take her off the jack stand jack. Let it sit flat, drain some more. Then we're going to measure what we collect and refill the transmission with that amount plus about like 0.2 of a quart. Trying to pick it up on camera. It was a lot more consistent than that, than that, but you'll hear it as soon as you take it off the jack. A lot more fluid comes out. Uh. A word on the transmission fluid. I did go with Hyundai OEM fluid simply because. Uh, my warranty, really. I mean, if you guys really want you guys should. If you're doing your DIY work, save your receipts, save everything. I save all my receipts for my oil changes. Um, but this is the recommended fluid. Apparently, they do not do... See, this product replaces Hyundai Genuine ATF SP4. 
I went to the dealership and I went to the parts department. I tried asking the parts dealer what fluid the 2017 Elantra takes. Um, I, now I just realized I could have just looked in the manual, but it does recommend SP4. Um, first guy I spoke to said he both had SP4 and SP4M. The SP4 was a lot cheaper. I think it was only $16 a quart. SP4M is about $21 a quart. I bought eight. Ran me. Oh, shit. Crushing up the invoice. Ran me a nice 173.24. It still comes up as SP4. Um. been about 20 minutes now you can see it's not even dripping it's all out so now we're gonna pull this bad boy out measure what we got and refill all right put the bolt back in I just want you guys to see the color of this fluid this is at 35,000 miles you can see I don't know if you can see it. it's pretty bright out. I can't see my screen you can see these little black marks. That is metallic material in your fluid. Please, guys, do yourself a favor. Don't let your car sit till 100K. You're going to regret it. Three and a half quarts is what drained out. That is literally only half of the fluid. Uh, so what I'm going to do is the tactic to get about 75% of the fluid out, which is I'm going to fill it up with three and a half quarts, or, you know, like three and a half, four quarts, drive it around for a bit, do another drain, refill again. Just so you guys get an idea of what I'm doing here. That is where the fill plug was. I got this funnel from, I think, Advance Auto. Just slide it in right in there. It'll sit in there. Then use your quartz to fill her up. After you guys pour in your quartz, uh, you're supposed to check your fluid through this. I'm assuming it's similar to a differential. Um, it says that you're supposed to remove this, and as long as there's a little bit of wetness of transmission fluid coming out, you should be fine. If it's pouring a stream out, you overfilled it. If there's nothing there, you got to put in a little bit more fluid. Socket here, or ratchet. Um. Oh, little stream, little stream. Hold on, let me get a rag. So let me loosen that up. It's not a Oh man, oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, you learn the hard way. So that was surely fun, getting transmission fluid all over my mover's blanket. Um, what you're supposed to do, 
is not check it right after you fill it. You gotta turn on your car, let it, <coughs> let it idle, uh, get up to temp, let it sit at temp for a while so the transmission fluid gets up to temp. Um, row through the gears. I've done it already a couple times. Just keep doing it. The more you do it, the better because uh, you're making sure that all the valve bodies inside the transmission are filling up so you get an accurate reading. After this, we're gonna recheck the fluid. Well, check it for the first. This is supposed to be the first time you're checking. You're not supposed to crack it open and get crap all over yourself. We're gonna check it, see if it needs some more fluid. Maybe, maybe it's perfect. Probably not. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get bucket loads of ATF on my face. stream going so my question is do I let this drip if I just drive with it alright so just so you guys know I had to double check myself I hope this thing focus it says, if the ATF flows out of the overflow plug in a thin steady stream, the ATF level is correct. That's right here. Um, uh, one way to know, so if there's too much, um, the way they say that you will know is if you pull the, if you open that plug and it drains more than a quart in two minutes. Uh, again, if nothing flows out, then there's not enough in there. You guys got to fill it up. Doing the second drain, not checking it up this time, just kind of stuck my hand in there. Oh, it was pretty fucking hot. Oh, let me see how much metal actually gets on this. More than I expected. I mean, I guess there was half residual fluid in there. Look at that. And we had just wiped it clean. So I gotta do the double. I'm not gonna do three. That's way too much money. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to take the top off. Second change. I don't know if the camera picks it up that well, but it's a lot more red, less brown, no black streaks. Alright guys, this is going to be a recap really, um, I just redid what I already did for the second interval change. Again, that changes about 75% of, um, of the ATF. Please guys, you guys got to change the transmission fluid. Don't listen to Hyundai. It's not Hyundai, I mean, you know, Hyundai's probably just stepping in everybody else's footsteps, but there's no such thing as lifetime fluid. No such thing. Guys, gotta change it. I, if you want to, you can try and push it to, in the manual, the only time you'd ever change transmission fluid is if you fall under severe use, and that would be a change at 60,000. I think, personally, that's a little bit too long, simply because most, most of the wear in the transmission occurs within the first 10,000 miles, about 10, 15,000 miles from break in from the clutch packs. Again, that's up to your discretion. I hope you guys found this video helpful in some way. I I wish I could have found something like this um, 
when researching doing a transmission flush or change for the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. It's really simple. Ain't much to it. Good luck to those of you out there doing it. 